Alright guys, Fundoris here. So with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet right around the corner, people are getting interested in the new legendary Pokemon and how they work and essentially like what they do. I just want to warn you guys right now, there's a minor spoiler, nothing major, just an insight of how the new legendary Pokemon actually work in the games. Alright, so just in case you guys don't know who the legendaries are or what they are, their names are Meridon and Corridon, and basically you can use them to travel across the map, you know, you could use them as like a motorcycle or a bike or whatever, you can jump high, uh, you can fly with them, you can swim with them, they're pretty much an all-terrain vehicle that you can use in-game. And in the last few days, leaks have just been flooding the internet about the new game, so I tried not to look at too many leaks, but this one I just thought was really cool and really interesting, so I had to talk about it. So in this leak, um, I'm going to put it on the screen right now, you can see that somebody has a full team of six Pokemon, which originally people thought that you could actually have the legendaries on their team, and I also thought that, so I put that in my team video, which I'm going to do an updated version because I made a few mistakes, but it's just because nobody really knew some of that information that we know now. But anyways, you can see this guy has a full team of six Pokemon at the very bottom. It says Meridon, get off, and you can press the plus button on your Switch to essentially like summon him or make him spawn in which is really similar actually it's exactly how it was in legend arceus instead of having four different pokemon in legend arceus that you call in for different methods of traveling you could just have one pokemon which is of course meridon or cordon uh, whichever one you have and i think that's really cool and i actually like that idea a lot better than having them on your team i feel like it really gives a purpose to the legendaries instead of having them at the very end of the game or whatever you could actually use them without putting them on your team which is really beneficial and it's really cool and it's a unique different aspect of pokemon in my opinion the convenience of it is really good too i mean i'm not sure how early on in the game you could actually access this it could be like right from the start or you maybe have to get a little bit of the storyline finished and then you unlock them or meet the Pokemon or however it's going to be. Pretty cool. I'm excited to find out how that actually works. I mean, it's just like they're your buddy, you know, they're your pal. You call them in whenever you want. You glide with them. Go catch other new Pokemon from the new Gen 9. Do whatever you want. It's really exciting. I'm interested to know and to find out, though, if you could actually put them on your team eventually. Like, maybe, maybe towards the end of the game, you can catch them. Like, they'll be like, okay, I'm your friend now. You can catch me if you want. Put me on your team. That, that might be a possibility, but who knows, maybe they're literally just there to help you travel across the map. It's also kind of neat that every different form of traveling that these Pokemon have, you got, you know, flying, biking, swimming, whatever, they all look different in each different mode. So like swimming, the Corridon or Maradon is going to look different than flying. With flying, it's really cool. Like the wings actually come out of like their head almost. It sounds weird, but it looks really cool. And uh, we've seen that in the gameplay footage that we've actually officially seen from Nintendo. And uh, it looks really cool. So it's definitely exciting to see how these Pokemon will work. Do got to say that these legendary Pokemon have definitely grown on me. At first look, I really thought that they were kind of dumb. I didn't like the idea that you can use them to travel on and whatever. But over time, as we got, you know, little different insights to how they work and what they look like in different forms or whatever, I actually have grown to really like the idea of it and I'm really excited to use it in game. I think the main factor or reason why I'm excited to try these new legendaries out is because usually I never use the legendaries in the games. You know, at the end you'll catch a legendary, but it's like you don't really want to use it on your team because you feel like it's cheating almost, so you just put in your PC. Like, I've literally never used a legendary in a Pokemon game. I just always have just a regular six Pokemon from whatever generation I'm playing. So, should be really cool and exciting. I'm really interested to hear what you guys are thinking, so leave a comment down below what your thoughts are about the legendary Pokemon and what you think about them being able to travel in, like, different forms and everything. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.